All right. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Usually you get a nice practice round on Shabbos afternoon, but uh, no one showed up yesterday. It sort of worked my benefit because I didn't finish preparing a second block because I was at the, by the Rosen Bar Mitzvah. So I was able to prepare that. So. All right, let's go to the, the Mishnah. So we got to the Mishnah on uh, Lama Zayin. That was yesterday's daf. Uh, today's Lama Ches. So I have no idea where this is going. Like I, I, like I don't remember where what it is. All right. Shorsha Muad Lamino Veina. All right, now I remember. All right, Shorsha Muad Lamino Veina Muad Lashayna Mina. So if you have a shore that is Muad to its species, in other words, to gore another ox, and it is not Muad to gore, uh, let's say, another species, uh, it's not uh, Muad to gore, let's say, a goat. Okay, now the way the Mishnah reads, we're going to read it is actually Machlokas. You, you did the Gemara, I don't know. So it's actually Machlokas in the Gemara, which we're soon going to see, which the Gemara is going to start off with this. <laughs> so the Gemara started off with uh, with with the Machlokas explanation, but we're going to go in terms of the way it's written, and we're going to understand it one way. Now is that this animal over here really, if it's goring, it's a goring animal. But this specific, but this animal, let's say, you know, went three times by an ox and gored it, and then went three times by, let's say, a goat and did not gore it. In other words, that normally it would consider to be a goring animal to gore everything, but this specific animal did not. It was not muad to gore, uh, let's say, another species. It only gores ox when it walks by it, or a case of an animal which is muad the adam. Which gores a person, but this specific animal did not gore other animals, or more the katanim, or it gores small animals, and it does not go ahead and gore a larger animal, that which is, is normal for it to go ahead, it's its normal behavior to go ahead and gore, then it goes ahead and pays the full uh, damage, like any case of muad. And let's say since it's not, you know, it goes by goats all the time and it never gores it. But if at one time it does, right, then it would uh, it would only bid, uh, uh, pay. It would only pay. Good morning, Mark. We just started the Mishnah on Lama Zayin. And Amr Lefnei Rabbi Yehuda. So they said before Rabbi Yehuda, they asked him a question. Let's say they have an animal, right? He's very from. Uh, that he only gores on on, on Saturdays, right, on, on the Shabbos, but he doesn't uh, gore when it comes uh, during the weekday. So let's say, you know, three Shabbos in a row or whatever it is, it always gores on Shabbos, but it doesn't gore during the week. So Alem, he responded, the Shabbos is Mishalim Nezik, Shalim. You can uh, perfectly also be uh, uh, Muad that way. So therefore, on Shabbos, Mishalim Nezik, Shalim, like the Muad. And the Mosachol, and during the weekday, since it, it would be abnormal behavior mm -hmm. for it to go ahead and go, if it does, go ahead and go. Then you go ahead, uh, and when is it considered to be a time? Right? When it goes ahead, and uh, you know, it goes, let's say, by three Shabbos and goes by an animal, it has the opportunity to go, and it does not go ahead and I just assumed that Shabbos was kind of locked up. Like it could have oh, a weekend, right? right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Rashi seems to say that Shabbos, when it's like not plowing, so it's like it's got time in its hands, it's it's bored. Uh -huh. That's when it goes and explores. So as soon as you see the Gemara, I mean, did you see the, 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 yeah, the yeah, right? Yeah. So as soon as you see the Gemara, that in terms of you know random days, you know whether it has a clock on it, um, you know we'll we'll talk about the fifteenth of the month and the sixteenth of the month, like yeah. which days are not really unique or really different to anything else. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess in this question, because it could be maybe also the question because Rapapa understands it a little differently because, yeah. you know, with the Machloga. So, all right, very good. Um, let's see the Gemara. Zak the Gemara. So, Itama, Razvid Omar Ve'ina Muad. Tonight, Razvid says, read the Mishnah just like you all read it. And when it says that normally a shore is goring, it's a goring shore, it should gore everything. But this specific one, is not muad to other animals because it, you know, had opportunities to gore other animals and it did not gore them. So therefore, that's what we're talking. About. And Rav Papa Amar ain't no muad. Rav Papa says, take out the vav of all the cases in the Mishnah. In other words, you read the first case like this: Shor shu muad lamino, ain't no muad the shein lamino. Right? You don't say vit. It was ain't no. In other words, it tell you a, a law, a rule. 
An animal that gores, is an ox that gores another ox, right, is not muad to gore another species. So just because once an animal, my, my, my ox gores three times and it keeps, keeps goring oxen, it doesn't necessarily, if it goes ahead and gores a goat, you know, the next week, it does not make it a muad to gore that goat. That's how Rav Papa learned. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so, Rav Zvid, Omar, Ve'en muad, Tanan. So, right, Ha'astama, right, Muad. In other words, according to Rav Zvid, what do you think? It's just a regular Gemara? Oh, I'm sitting. Right. So, Rav Zvid learns that the reason why it says Muad, uh, in other words, that an animal, this specific case is about an animal that gores other oxen and doesn't, it has opportunity, doesn't gore, uh, let's say, goats, right? But Stam, a regular animal, if it gore three times, then it would be a Muad for all types of animals. Rav Papa Mar Eina Muad, and Rav Papa says Eina Muad meaning Tanan, the Stam will have a Muad. It means just because it's it's uh, considered to be Muad for an ox, for oxen, doesn't necessarily make it Muad for other things. And Rav Zvi died from the Sefer, and Rav Papa died from Rasha. So Rav Zvi learned from the Sefer, and Rav Papa learned from the Rasha. Rav Zvi died from the Sefer, he learns from the Sefer that it has to be Vi, in other words, why? The Tanik says Muad the Ketanim, Veina Muad the Gedayim. An animal is Muad to go ahead and gore, let's say, uh, uh, let's, so let's say an animal was Muad to go ahead and gore a smaller animal, right? A, a smaller animal is less intimidating. And it is not Muad the Gedayim. <clears throat> So it makes sense to go ahead and say the Enamuad Katani said with the Vav the Enamuad Hostam Havi Muad, right? And that was more mostly Stam is the Muad. So Al Kavashlon the Afila Mektan Lekdoylem Nami Mustami Havi Muad. That in other words, that the Chiddush is that this specific animal doesn't gore bigger animals, but a normal animal, right? Um, it would be a muat. In other words, that even though something maybe it only gores small animals, it doesn't uh, you know want to pick on someone its own size. Nevertheless, if you gore even small animals, you're considered to be a goring animal, even the gabi big animals. Eli Yamarta Aina Muad. But if you say no, it's Aina Muad Khtani, the Stam and therefore it's Stamalo Havi Muad, it's not Muad. Hashta Yeshlamar Miktana Liktana, right? If it just gores small, you know, you know, one type of small animals, it, it doesn't. The, the Alma Stama uh excuse me, the Yeshmar Miktan Liktana, the Alma Stamalo Havi Muad, Miktana Likdoim Srikla Memar. Do you have to tell me that, you know, we don't assume that if it gores one type of katanum, it doesn't other katanum. So do you have to go ahead and tell me that if it gores small animals, it won't gore larger animals? So that was Rev Zvid's uh, uh, svar. Morning, Alan, we're in the middle of Lama Zayin of Adal. And Rav Papa, I'm going to so Rav Papa respond to that. Why do you have to come and teach me that case about uh, katanum? I'm going to call it Yitzchik. No, you still need it. So good, Isaac. I mean, uh, how will Uparitz Bay Baumina? Parts, uh, Power Parts Bay. In other words, Loshna Gadam, did they Loshna Gadam, did they? In other words, Loshna Gadam, did they Loshna Gadam, did they? In other words, that maybe once it goes ahead and goes through a species, maybe it doesn't make a difference in the size. Come out, Blonde, the Lavi Muad. It comes to teach you that it's not a Muad, and a Hanami, that maybe it was just, uh, you know, the small and not the large. And Rapapa died me Rasha, and Rapapa wants to learn out from the Rasha. Me said, Duke, the Tonic says, Muad the Adam. If an animal was muad for a tagore person, ain't a muad the It doesn't necessarily make it muad to go ahead and gore animals. Maybe it just gores humans, right? And that's and that's what this heavy animal does. And that's how Rapapa learns. Why? So Iyamar to Bishlama ain't a muad tanan. If Rapapa says that in general, that if it just gores humans, it doesn't mean it's if it gores, you know, uh, animals, you would pay it's a muad. It's not the stam alavi muad. The stam it once it gores a person, it's not muad for everything else. How come Ashwalan was coming to teach you that feel me Adam la behema nami stam lo havi muad that just because it gores a person doesn't make it a goring animal and therefore you know likes to you know pick on humans uh, they're an easy target. Eli Marta the ain't muad katani but if it says the ain't muad and this specific animal gores people but when it walks by humans it doesn't go ahead mm -hmm. actually when it walks by other animals doesn't gore them how stam lo havi muad. But if you tell me that it's Enamuad, the Enamuad Katana, but normally it would be Muad, Hashta, Yeshlamar, me Behema, the Behema, Stama, Havi Muad, right? If it goes ahead and it goes from an animal to an animal, right, then it would be considered a Muad of all species. So, me Adon, the Behema, the Srikh, the Memer, do you have to tell me that it gores a person? Certainly it will gore all types of animals, the Havi Muad. And Ravzid, I'm going to no, Reisha, Achazarcha. 
the race is really going in the Chazar. In other words, talking about a case of that the animal was a Mu'ah. And then maybe after the animal was a Mu'ah to gore everything, and then it had certain, you know, it uh, uh, you know ran into, let's say, humans or whatever species we're talking about and did not gore three times. And therefore, we're talking about reverting back from a Mu'ad towards that species to a uh, regular term. The Tshuva. And Kagon, the Havi, the Adam, the Behema. For instance, the animal was Mu'ad to gore humans and animals. The Hadar baby Mahema, and then it went by animals multiple times and did not gore. Right? The Kai Gabi Behema, Talas is even, it went by an animal three times. The Lonaga, the Lonaga, and then it did not gore. Mao Zemoja said, came in the Hadar baby Adam, Chazar the Hema, Lav Chazar. He says, since it didn't have an opportunity to be Chazar. By humans, we didn't test it, right? They have a walk by a human without goring it. So therefore, maybe the, the gabe, the animal, would not be considered to be a uh, a, a chazara to revert back from mua to tam. So kamash Balan, the chazara, the behema, mia chazara, he, that no, kamash Balan, that this chazara is considered to be a good chazara. Fine. We are the last uh, last skinny line, last uh, last word, basically. So Simcha so this is brought to me another Bryce, uh, thing, uh, Bryce, uh, as it says, Muad the Adam, Muad the Behema, Mikavachem. There's no Bryce, but I've heard. Just at least. Oh, yeah. It's just Hanukkah. It's okay. My wife made me buy a white shirt. She's like, you have a son. That's yeah, so, so do I never switch it. So may say Subko Samir Mua the Adam Mua the Behem the Kavachem. If an animal gores a person, now this is considered to be a muad that we're gonna establish it to be a muad for everything, right? Not like we, we learned the uh, the Mishnah. He says, Umali Adam Muad the Behema Lokosh. All right, so it says, Umali Adam Muad. Right, the behemoth look kosher, okay? Right, if it gore is a person, so isn't it obvious that uh, for for a behemoth it should be a muad? So Michlal, the Tanakama ain't a muad kama. Infer from here that the Tanakama is saying that it's um, uh, uh, that, that they would not be uh, ain't a muad kama. In other words, that according to the Tanakama, in other words, Sumchus he was arguing, right? So he says more the other more the behemoth of kavachemer. So he says, no, it is a kavachem, a mashma, michlal, the tanakama, that he who is arguing on is a muad kamar, right? It's not, the, the rabban would say that it's not muad. In other words, so therefore, it's, it wouldn't be considered a muad, but normally is, which would be a kasha on Rav Zvid, who says that, uh, you know, if it gores, then it gores for everything, unless this specific animal is proven otherwise, which is the reason for the vav of the Mishnah. So Rav Zvid, once again, he's going, and the, the, the going back, to the Tanakama, to compare to that which you say, Chazar the Behema Chazarhi, or that which you say, the Chazar for the Behema is a Chazarhi, Chazar the Behema, Lav Chazarhi, Mikavachem, right? It should not be a Chazar Kavachem, right? The Meodam, Uma Meodam, like a Mahadar Behema Lokosh, again, if it didn't Chazar for a person, it didn't, uh, uh, was not Chazar for a Behema. Summer of Ashi Tashma, come and listen. Amr Lufne Rabbi Huda. So he said before Rabbi Huda, Hareza Mua the Shabbosai, Sveina Mua the Yamoisako. So it said in the Mishnah, they said to Rabbi Huda, the way we learned it, they asked Rabbi Huda, what happens if an animal gores, let's say, three Shabbosim, but during the week, it does not go ahead and gore? Abelhan, the Shabbosai is Mishalim Nezik Shalim. Okay, well, now we've created a Muad when it comes to goring on Shabbos. Therefore, it gores on Shabbos, it's Mishalim Nezik Shalim. If you says in other words, that the way we learned it, like Reb Zvid, in other words, that the animal normally is muad to gore everything, but this animal proved that it's it is only muad to gore, let's say on Saturdays, but not during the week. So Shuli Huda comes They're asking Rabbi Huda a question. Hey, Rabbi Huda, what do you do in this case? Can a day be something which is muad? It's not a, spe- a species. Or a human versus an animal, maybe it's the days, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like the, the sun is out and the sun is not out, maybe in days when the sun it doesn't. Or what about the day of the week? And therefore, Rabbi Huda answers the question no, well, if it's Taka, Muad for uh, 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 Saturdays and it's not Muad for Sundays, then yes, it indeed is considered Muad. 
Aliyamarta ena muat katani. If he says that it's a flat out rule, it's muat for Shabbos days and it's not muat for weekdays. Agmar who the kamagarle, right? So then it's a it's it's it's, it's, it's a limud, right? That you know is there. It sounds like they're teaching halacha to Rabbi Yehuda to the to the Rabbi. So and furthermore, Ihu might come And also, what's he answering there? Because uh, Salman Rabbi Yanai, because we we know the halachas of, of muad and tam. So, so, uh, Sama Raviana, Mereshan Ami. So he says, No, all through the Ration, we can be a Diktani. He says, Et Shemua Lo, Mishalim Nazik Shalim, there which is Muad for Mishalim Nazik Shalim, Vesh Ain Muad, Mishalim, Muad Lo, Mishalim Chatzin Nazik. See, I'm Artari Shalom of the Ain Muad Katani. If you say it's the way we read it, like Rav Zvid learns it in the way our Mishnah has it, the Ain Muad, and I was this, we're talking about this specific animal, and it has behaviors towards some as Muad, and behaviors towards others is uh, a Tam. So therefore, the, the, the case of Nezek Shalem that he pays, you know, uh, for Muad or Chati Nezek for Tam, he's explaining the halacha. Eliyam Marta ain't a Muad Katani, but if it says in general, it's not Muad for that. Katani, it's a Pascha, right? It's a Mai, right? Uh, in other words, why, what is the teaching more in this case? Right? And two, furthermore, as Shemua lo Mishalem Nezek Shalem, as Shemua Muad Mishalem Chati Nezek, Right, right. In other words, we know the halacha already. He knows why do you have to repeat it? If you're telling me the halacha is that an animal is muad for this, right? It only it's, it's muad for this, and it's not muad for other things. So what do you have to tell us the the, the, the you know the halachas in this case of that you know, that which he pays muad actually that which he pays nezik shalim and nezik chatzin nezik? We already know the halacha. We've seen it multiple times. So therefore, it's like uh, Razvi. And the Im Tim Salome Nami, and even if you want to go ahead and say, according to Isa the Rapapa, Rapapa's whole thing, that uh, an animal, if it only gores, right, certain, you know, times, it's it's, it's only, it's it's uh, it's muat for that, but not muat for other things. But according to Rapapa, the Svar would be, Noga, Shor, Chomor, Vigamal. If an animal, right, three in a row, an ox gores, another ox, a, uh, a donkey and a camel, Nasa Muad the Ko. Therefore, it'll be Muad for everything. In other words, this animal, according to this, that uh, since it gored three different types of animals, therefore it now becomes Muad for all types of animals. But three lines on the bottom on Lamed Zion. All right, so Tanra Abadan, Rosh Shor Nagach Shor. So it says here, Shor, Nogach Shor, Lo Nogach Shor, Nogach Shor, Lo Nogach Shor, Nogach Shor, Lo Nogach, or Shor Lo Nogach. Shor Nogach. Yeah, yeah, right. The Shor came first, right? The Shor comes first, not afterwards. So he says, let's say you see an animal that every other one, so it sees one, it gores it, the next time it sees an animal, it does not gore it, then it sees one, it gores it, it doesn't see one. It doesn't see this one. It doesn't go it, it, back and forth. Nasa muah the serug in the shore. It's considered to be an a, an alternating goring animal. In other words, this animal is now muad <coughs> to gore every other animal it sees, and therefore, uh, if you're the even number or whatever the odd number, whichever one it was, um, right. So that case. Uh, I guess the uh, the odd one because it started with one three five, right? So therefore, if it you know gores the the ninth time, so the since that's the odd, every other one it's muad. Right. It's, it's it, one it, yes, one no. It has now one, created a pattern where it is muad uh, the gabigat. Tanur Abban Ra Shor Nogach Kamar Loi Nogach Sus Nogach Gamal Loi Nogach Parad Nogach Arud Loi Nogach Arud. I did it again. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. So if it went ahead, it gored a shore, and then it didn't gore a donkey, and then it uh, gored a, a horse, and then it didn't gore a uh, a, a, a camel. camel, right? And then it's sort of a mule, right? And then so uh, every other one, right? So he says, Nasta Mua the Serugin It's considered to be an alternate animal to all types of animals. In other words, if it created two Muad, Muad for different what types. The uh, uh, root is a uh, 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 was it uh, right? He says a uh, haber, a wild donkey. Right. Wild. Chamor haber, I guess haber. Uh-huh. 
So no, Karen, right. That's a word. So so in this case, it now is is altering a gorg animal, but not just ortho, uh, alternating going oh, towards ox, yeah. but any types of animals. The more the question was asked, Nogach. Sure, sure, the sure, chamor v'gamma. All right, five times. Right, you, you need three for your year to make something a mua. Mm -hmm. So gore is an ox, ox, uh, ox, ox, donkey, camel. So mahu hai shore basra, the third and final shore. Basra shorem shadina lei. The akati the shorem who died. Let me dechri nilo. Do we say that it's only part of the first three groups, and therefore it's part of the first three? And therefore, you cut it off. And therefore, any animal, all you have is two, because the fourth and fifth was donkey, then camel, and it never did three different species in a row, because the third shore is counted with the previous two. Or we can say, you know what, include it with the last two, and therefore, it'll be a series of three. And therefore, it'll be included. Days or the same day? Uh, probably tell him about locus or Mary and Huda, whether you mean different days, days or, days or times, you're right? Whatever the standard is to create a chazaka, it would be go along uh, uh, with that. You pick the worst scenario now. So, do no, do we include it there or not? So, Mahu, uh, the other mini chamor, the gummer, okay, excuse me, all right, next case. So meaning chamor the gamal the short. Now the opposite. Let's say that day one is chamor, and then gamal. Then so when donkey, camel, ox, ox, ox. So mahu, hi shor, kama, basar, chamor the gamal. Shadinale the kule meaning. Do we throw over the first three because it was used there to be part of the chamor gamal and shor? I do ma basar shor shadinale, or maybe we include the, the last two shores, and therefore. Because the shore and the the minachrin is loyayid, and therefore it only may be uh, muad for the shore and not muad for anything else. But what about this Shabbos? 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 Echav Shabbos? Veshem Shabbos. So you had Saturday, 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 Sunday, Monday. So mahu hi Shabbos basra. Yeah, he's, he's busy goring. So he says, "Es Shabbos basrai sabasa Shabbos with the shini leg." Do we say, "Okay, go ahead, take the last, the third Shabbos, right into the other Shabbos, and then cut to the Shabbos who died in the midst of Cholayai?" And therefore, it's just on Saturdays it goes, but not, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, days in a row, any other day. I do a basrai echav Shabbos with the Shabbos, or maybe we include the last Saturday with the uh, Sunday Monday. Shadino levi lehu lekuliyom, and therefore it's muad for any day. Or chamisha b'shabbos, ve'er shabbos, v'shabbos, shabbos, v'shabbos. Or what about this? You get Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. I'm out. Ha'shabbos kamaisa basa chamisha b'shabbos, ve'er shabbos. Do we go ahead and take the shabbos included with the Thursday and Friday? Because Thursday, Friday, Shabbos, and therefore we add the kuliyam, and therefore it's a muah for every day. I do ba ha'shabbos kamaisa basa shabbos. In order to be said that the shabbos goes with the other shabbos, so we include it with the shabbos with the ayin, and therefore the only shabbos he's muah, but not muah for anything else. Take it. So the Gemara does not give a teretz. No gap. Sure. Yaim tezvav v'chaydesh zeh. Yaim tezayim v'chaydesh zeh. Yaim yedzayim v'chaydesh zeh. So let's say it was the 15th of this month, and then the next month it was the 16th, and the next month it was the 17th. So plugsa the Rabbi Shmuel. It's actually not like it's Rabbi Shmuel. The Itmar. Rosa yom tez tezayim v'chaydesh zeh. Yaim tezayim v'chaydesh zeh. Yaim yedzayim v'chaydesh zeh. So we're talking about the a vessel for a woman to 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 normally that she sees a uh, rasadam, uh, she sees a blood on a specific day. So uh, so the, the, the Gemara deals with times. So let's say it's the fifteenth of every month. So therefore, that's uh, it creates a vessel uh, for her. now. But let's say, can you create right a a a, a schedule to be fifteenth at one month, the sixteenth at next month, the seventeenth at another month? Right? Is that something that's done? Or right? not necessarily in terms of you know, 30 days or 31 days. It's not that, but it could be different depending on how many days in the month. But it was 15, 16, 17. Rav, Omar, Kabbalah, Vessus. So Rav says, right, the body, right, so Rav says she has created a Vessus, and this is her expected time. So it says, uh, Shmuel says, no, right, until it has to be, uh, 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 what's it called, it has to be three times uh, in terms of, of skipping, it has to, uh, uh, to, to be this. In other words, she always has to have 
when she uh, jumps one, uh, I guess, you know, every day, uh, does it three times. So, Amar Rava, so Shama Kol Shoifer Venagach, Kol Shoifer Venagach, Kol Shoifer Venagach. So let's say it hears a horn, and then it goes, it's like a little bit of shnickle, like a Pavlovian, right? It hears a, a, a trumpet or a shofar, then it goes in and gores and does it again, and here's a, here, here's a third time, then it gores again. Nasa Mu'a the Shoifers is becoming Mu'a now for a shofar. So it was Pshita, it's obvious. So Mu'a the Shoifers just said, Hach the Shoifer Kama Sikriyama Maybe the first one was like a startling thing. Therefore, you can't really count that towards it. Kamash that even the first shofar blow and then it gores uh, 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 as a result of it uh, is uh, uh, is uh, you know it does count and therefore it, it would be created a chazaka for blowing the shofar and the animal going fine. Nine mission. Mishnah says shor shall Yisrael shenagach shor shall hash. A shore of Yisrael, of a Jew that went ahead and gored a shore of, that was owned by Hektish, or Shal Hektish Shinaga, or Shar Shal Hedyot, or Hektish's animal went ahead and gored a, uh, a private citizen's uh, uh, shore. Potter, Shnamar, Shore Rey. Who went through it? So it says, Shore, yeah, we have seen it before, correct? So it says, sure, but here's the mission. This is the no, brother. No, okay. So it says, Shorey. What's Shorey? It means your, your fellow man's ox. <laughs> but if something, if the, you don't have, so a fellow man's ox means that you have to have two individuals who own it. You know, I own an ox and the Rabbi owns an ox. So his, your fellow man's. But if my ox scores something that's not owned by a Rabbi, but it's owned by the Shul or Hektish, that's not my fellow man's ox. And same thing, that the, the, you're have to go ahead and pay if it's your fellow man's. Mm-hmm. But if I'm not a fellow man, I'm hectish, therefore I'm putter. So because we learn mm-hmm. Sria, the Tanakam learns so we'll Sria, who put that in the coin anymore, right? Well, we both sides. Well, both sides. But if my animal gores them, it's not Sharia. Sorry, Hectish, you lost your animal. I'm not responsible because I only paid Sharia, and you're not my Rie. What is it? Um, the, 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 uh, wouldn't like, you pay like um, the principal and then twenty percent? No, that's if you redeem it. You're not redeeming here. This is the animal you're just it's just causing damage to. Yeah. If a if a Jew's shore goes ahead and gores a uh, uh, um, an axe owned by a guy, it's a potter. But if a Kanani goes ahead and gores that of Israel, whether it was a Tam or a Muad, first time offender, or already done multiple times, three times plus, Meshalim Nezek Shalim always pays Nezek Shalim. So the Kanani always pays Nezek Shalim to the Israel. The Israel never pays any sort of Nezek to the Kanani. And when it comes to an individual in Hektish, they're always putter to each other, according to our mission. Fine. Let's see the Gemara. Exactly the Gemara. So Masnis and the Lake Rabbi Shimon ben Manasseh. A mission is not like Rabbi Shimon ben Manasseh. The Tani will learn in the Bais a shor shel hedyo shenogach shor shel hektish. If a ox of an individual, my ox goes ahead and gores that of hektish, the shel hektish or shel hektish shenogach shor shel hedyo potter potter shenamar shoriyu v'lo shor shel hektish. Right? So shoriyu v'lo shel hektish. That's so far exactly like our mission. Yeah. Rabbi Shimon ben Asya in there. So out of Shimon ben Asya, we just said our mission is not like he says over there. Shor shel hedyo shenogach shor shel hedyo potter. You always pay, you, you gore hektish, you always got to pay full price, even if you're a top. So you're always, uh, you know, you have the, the, the hektish has the upper hand. So I mean, they said to Mishra Manasseh, my cousin, if he learns, hey, your fellow man, meaning Mamish has to be a fellow man. I feel shall had you should not shall had you should be potter. If my animal gore is had you should be potter because they're not my fellow man. Therefore, I don't have to pay my fellow man. So I should be potter just like the Tanakama in this Bryce in our Mishnah. Be Reyehu lav dafka. And if Reyehu is not, it doesn't really mean anything. That's just okay. It's just a way of saying it. It could be a, a, a company. It could be hectish. Could be anything, right? I feel that hectish nami ki nagach the head If that's the case, then hectish should be responsible if they gore mine. Ah, you're, it's not your fellow man because you're not a man, hectish. Well, it doesn't make a difference. Sure, he was loved after. So we got. So the Gemara says vechi tamele yelam savarei hu dafka. If you want to say, hey, it has to be rei hu umihu. 
Nevertheless, why does Rabbi Shimon Asi say if my animal gores hektish am chayiv? Umihu the head yo kinagach the hektish. I know tamid of chayiv. The reason why if an individual went ahead and gore his animal gore that of hektish is he's chayiv. We shum the ka maisi lama kava chaymer. We learn a kava chaymer the head yot. Ma head yot shenagach shal head yot chayiv. If my animal gore is just a person's animal, I'm chayiv. The kinoga, the hektish, if it goes ahead and gore is hektish, right? Something which is sacred. But certainly I should go ahead, the Mikhayev. I should go ahead and pay for damages, right? Like, like uh, goring Hashem's. If I have to pay a fellow man, I certainly have to pay Hashem's animals. So he's using your Kalbachimer. Kalbachimer is saying, of course you got to pay hektish, right? You, you know, you got to treat hektish better than, uh, than a person. <laughs> the other says, no. The Daya Lavo, Mina Din, Liyas Kenidon. You want, we saw this earlier, right? We, we don't get too far into this, so it's fine. So we saw earlier that when you have a, a kavachami, you want to learn from something else, you only learn it to the extent that that which we're learning from. So what are you learning from? From a fellow man. Now, if, I, if my animal is a tom, right, and a gore is a fellow man's animal, what do I pay? Mm-hmm. Right? So therefore, if you're kavachami, you want to say that I shouldn't treat Hashem worse, or hektish, right? Hektish or Hashem, mm-hmm. right? Worse than I treat my fellow man, right? It has to be better, right? Okay, so at least I should learn now to the lachas of fellow man. Mm-hmm. And fellow man is muad, nezek, shalem, tam, chati, nezek. But over here, you're telling me tam or muad, I pay nezek, shalem. So it's so the bar saying, doyle bo mina din, liye is kenido. Malal and tam, chati, nezek. How can I be chati, nezek? I should be chati, nezek. So Ella... So we said even... The, the, so we had my clothes, but we said everyone holds to the concept of dayo. So, but the... the um, the discrepancy was over there if there was a a kavachayim or a pircha on it, but over here there was no pircha. So el amar ishlagish hakol avi bichlal nezek shalim. Really, your lumdus is off. Your lumdus should be learned like this, right? Everything is really bichlal nezek shalim. In other words, really any time my animal gores your 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 animal or your property, I I pay for damages, whether it's the first time, third time. Hundred time, I always should pay one hundred percent of the damages. All right, I call nezek shalit. But then, when the Torah gives a reprieve, right? It gives a little bit, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, right? Reprieve for the punishment. Reu gavi tam reu the tam shalit chazi nezek. In other words, it's telling you that really I pay full nezek. And if it's my fellow man, then mm-hmm. I lower it down, right? It's no longer a, uh, uh, like, a, uh, you know, mm-hmm. what's it called? Mm-hmm. A serious uh, crime. It's only a, uh, you misdemeanor. know, misdemeanor. I'm sorry, a misdemeanor, it's a misdemeanor, right? Misdemeanor. It gets lowered down to a misdemeanor. In other words, really, I have to pay everything. But if it's a time and it's Reyehu, then I can only pay it. Mm-hmm. So really, make care of the way it works is I'm Chayim Nezek Shelly. But if I can get off by... A tom of Shoreyehu, then it minimizes to only Chatznezek, like a like a misdemeanor. However, but Hektish, uh-huh. in other words, but when it comes to uh, uh, Hektish, there is no Tom I pay less. So therefore, I'm just, you know, I don't have that tour of, uh, uh, you know, uh, of Shoreyehu. So therefore, it remains just like with a person, I have to pay for full damages, mm-hmm. right? But I have a reprieve over there. But over here, I have to pay full damages. And I don't get that reprieve. So it's one full price, and, and, and therefore I would pay. I would pay full price to uh, to Hektish, right? Because I don't have that special, you know, tour of Shoreyehu. Why not? The, one second. Last time, Dave Kane, because if that was how it learned, so it should say Reyehu by Muad. But it doesn't, it says Tom. So therefore, really, you're Chayim Nezek Shalik, right? With, with another person. But if it's a Tom, then I can get off. But over here, since it's not a Tom when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to uh, Hektish, therefore, I remain that I have to pay for the damages and I don't have the special uh, leniency of Chati Nezek. And therefore, I have to go ahead and pay uh, Nezek Shalim. How about the twenty percent thrown in? You know what I mean? No, 20, that, that's only when you redeem something. Oh, that's okay. only when you. So you're not redeeming anything here, right? So and therefore, okay. uh, okay. since you're not redeeming, so there's no twenty percent. You just have to pay for full damage. Thank you. Now, Shor Shal Yisrael Shenagach Shor Shal Kanani Pater. Times it should be okay. Come on. So we start. I was say you can tell by the length of Rashi's. Yeah, you look at the Rashi's. Okay, fine. Now. 
Shoshal is Toshin Agav Shoshal Kananik Potter. So he's Shoshal Yisrael that, that, that goes ahead and gores that of owned by a non Jewish Potter. So I mean, mother, I understand. Irehu Dafka, if it's my Rehu, and my fellow man, including a guy, or that was a Dafka, excluding that the Kananik, you know, Yisrael Nami the Potter. Then the Kanani should be Potter because he's my fellow man. So he shouldn't have to pay me for any damages his animal caused to buy. We are allowed to We don't care about the, the Rie, who is just a figure of speech. I feel this talking about the Kanani and the Chai. I should be Chai, but I go my animal goes ahead and gores uh, that of a Kanani. So I'm going to cry. The Pasuk says, Omad. So the Pasuk in Chavaku uh, says over there, Omad by Yimdod Eretz Ra Viter Goyim. So it says over there, so the Pasuk says, uh, let me just read the Pasuk. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll read it over here it's a little bit. So Ahmad Baim, so he went ahead and he measured the land, right? And he saw, and basically, you know, he, uh, right, he, he, what's it called? He excavated or goyim. So what does it mean? Ra Sheva Mitzvah Shekibu Alem. So instead of there, Hashem saw the Sheva Mitzvah, they, they accepted by themselves, they know. And Kev and Shloy Kaimu, since they didn't go ahead and fulfill them, Ahmad Vahitim and Mine and the He says, you know what? You had seven rules to go ahead and abide by, and therefore, this is with, with this, you know, you know, you would be, you know, you'd be re- rewarded and held accountable for your actions. But I see you're not doing it. Therefore, you didn't do your part. I'm not doing your part, and therefore, I'm freeing up your money, the Gabi Yisrael. So, therefore, when it comes to damage or that was done by your animal to a guy, so therefore, you don't have to go ahead. You're not responsible to pay. Now, Rabbi Yechanan Omar Mehafi says very similar puzzle. It says over there. Uh, so it says over there, and he that Hashem revealed himself by Haparan for by by Mamon Arsina. So it says me Paran, who be Mamon So it says over there from Paran, he went ahead and he revealed their money to Yisrael. And Tani Ami Alchis of the Rund, Shor Shoi, So Shor Nagach Shor Shol Kanani Potter. If it's Shoi, so one that hadn't gored that of a Kanani is Potter. Shor Shol Kanani Shor Nagach Shor Shol Yisrael Bein Tam Bein Lemuah Meshalim Nezik Shalim. If a that of a Kanani goes ahead and gores that of a Israel, he always has to pay. That's like shelling him as a tash. No matter what it says, Amod vayim dot eretz ra vitar goy. So it says over there, right? Then he went ahead and he assessed, and then he like permitted their the money. V'amir afiyah mi haparan, and also another pasuk says, right? He revealed the haparan. Why is he in the second pasuk? V'chitei mahay amod vayim dot eretz eretz mi boyle. Maybe you need it like that, which we, we learned from Rav and Rav Yasef. Therefore, we use it for something else. So there, maybe you wouldn't have a source. So therefore, Tashvaka was, it says, And therefore, he went ahead and, re- and he revealed their money to Yisrael. So what does it mean? Now, what was the case of Rav Masna or Rav Yasef? So my Rav Masna. So Dama Rav Masna, Amar Vayim Dovas Eretz Rav Bechuli. So Ma Ra, so Ra Sheva Mitzvah Shinitzava Olam Benenach. So the seven mitzvahs of Benenach were granted to like him, and he did not fulfill it. Amad Vehigla Isa Mialad Masam. Therefore, he went ahead and he exiled them from their land. My Mash with the high Viter Lishan Degluy. And where do you see this Lashan of Viter? Was Lashan of the he he exiled who the Chsiv? So he said who the Chsiv says Hacha says Chsiv Hacha says a Viter guy. The Chsiv Hacha says over there. Or it says over there, uh, 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 this is a, where's this Pasuk in, right? Uh, the Pasuk is in Vayikra, right? So it says, uh, the, the, from the, right, for all the Sheretz, right, on the land, right? So the Matar game, the Kamsa, right? And we, what goes up here means to, uh, to jump, right? The Kamsa, right? To, 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 to jump. In other words, it means that he exits out from the land. For 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 not fulfilling. So you see, it's the, the word of jumping. So therefore, jumping is like the, the guy were jumping. They were exiled, and therefore, since the puzzle teaches you they are exiled, it doesn't teach you that their mamaynam was freed to Yisrael. That if he damages it, he would have to go ahead and pay. And my Rav Yosef. So what was Rav Yosef? Rav Yosef. I'm Rav Yindav Eres Rav. So the same puzzle says that Shem's right in the assess. So my Rav. So Rav Shem is a Shekib Lu Alei Bnei Noach. So the Shem is a Bnei Noach. They were makabel but like Kibum and they did not fulfill. Amad Behiter on the hand. And so he went down to uh, 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 the Hitra uh, Laham is Guri uh, is Gar. So he says, you know what? You can't fulfill it. So therefore, forget about it. Right? Forget about it. You're, you're, I'm going to take away these seven commands. So he says, In Kane, Matsina Chaitan Iskar. Right? We, we see that they're, they're rewarded. Right? They're supposed to do something. They didn't do it. So he says, okay, you don't have to do it. Anymore, right? He says, Chaitan Iskar. So right? There is the Ravna, the Marsh, Yafila Makayim, and my son, Amakal Laham Skar. We say, no. That it means mm. that even if they go ahead and fulfill the Shev Mitzvahs, mm. they're not going to get uh, uh, rewarded for it. 
So the verse is, I below, but Tanim, going to buy some Mayroi, but Manai Chef, you do not free the Isaac Batara. How do you know that enough is Isaac Batara Shu, a coin god, also a coin god that receives war? Tamalimar, I show you Yasso is some hogum, but Chai Bohem. So it says, uh, that you know, that they which fulfill it and they live by them. So I can't believe in Yisrael, Lord Namar, Elo Adam. It doesn't just say Kwan Levi Yisrael. It says oh, the man, right? So, uh, so therefore, it's coming to teach that even a Nachri is Isaac Batara. He he is rewarded. So I'm right. Ema Kabbal is Chakim Metzuba Viyaisa Ela Kamish Ena Metzuba Viyaisa. No, yes, he does get reward, but he doesn't get the reward because we know that a person who's commanded to do something and fulfills it gets a higher reward than someone who's not commanded to do something. Right, the, we learn that the, the greater is, is he that is commanded to do his reward is greater than someone who's not commanded and fulfills it. So Tan Rabbanu Kol Shalka Malchus Raimi Shnei Sardiotos Eitzel Chakmei Yisrael. So we learned <coughs> that the Malchus uh, of Rome, I guess they sent the uh, two officers to Chakmei Yisrael. Am Deino Torah Seichem. Go ahead and teach us your 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 Torah. Sakara Veshano. The, the Shilshu, they went there, they taught them, they reviewed it, they learned it a third time. Bashas Aptirasan, and then when the time of them to leave, Sarmal Ham, Shkoyach, they gave him, they shook their hands, it says, Nita Bechol Torah Seichem, we looked everywhere in your Torah, the MS, who, and by the way, it was, you know, you get the thumbs up, everything seemed to, to you know, to, 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 to track. Chutz me Dovar Zach, except for one item, but Shatem Aimim, Shor Shel Yisrael, Shanana Shor Shel Knani Potter. That you say yeah, that I mean, right. uh, you know that if a Jew's shore goes ahead and uh, uh, and, and gores out of a Kanani, is potter. But you guys, if you gore ours, excuse me, if ours we gore yours, we always go ahead and pay Nezashalim because it doesn't. Why doesn't make sense? If you want to learn the word Riehu, then I feel Kanani kinagach Yisraeli potter. Then a Kanani gives you so because it's not Riehu, and therefore you're always potter. The Riehu lavdafka. And if the word Rehu is Lavdafka, I feel the Yisrael, you know, got the Kanani the Chayim, and if it's Lavdafka, it doesn't make a difference, then he, you should go ahead and pay for the damage to the Yisrael. But the verse, Einan Amodim, Oisel Lamafos. And by the way, wink, wink, you know what? We'll we'll keep it quiet, and just between you and us, wow. and thank you for teaching us. So Rav Shmuel, so that, right, so they, they didn't go ahead and, uh, and report him. So Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda, Shechiv Alei Barta. So Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda, so I guess his... Uh, his daughter yeah. passed away. She died. So I'm the Rabban of the Ula. So the Rabban said, Ula, kum, nizo, nichme. Let's go ahead and be menachem. Let's go ahead and console. So I'm the Ula. So I understand. He says, Why do you want to go ahead and, uh, you know, go to the uh, to, to, to those people in Bavel? Right? Because those people, uh, they, they, they're blasphemous. Dami, Maya, Afshar, the Mavit, right? So, because as, as you know, when when they go there, they say, so "What could be done?" Right? There's, there's no uh, consolation that could be done. Right? Whatever could done, uh, you know, there was, there was nothing to do. In other words, and therefore, them saying that this is all that was 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 set to do was destined to do. So, therefore, there is a, a blasphemy. Uh, so, what did he do? So he said, "Azahu So He said, "Okay." He went by himself. Uh, Ula went. So Amr Leis. He said, "Vayomer Hashem." So Hashem says, "Al Titzar as Moab, Al Titzar Bam Nucham." Right? Don't go ahead and bother Moab, and don't uh, start with them a war. V'chima al al daito shel Moshe laasis Nucham shelo b'shus. What do you mean? So Moshe Rabbeinu was going to uh, have a war with them shelo b'shus. Ella, not that Moshe kavachem, Moshe not that Moshe kavachem. He made it. He could have made it kavachem himself. Be'atzmo Amr Le Amar. So the Midyanim who came, who only came to go help and assist Moab, go ahead and know the Midyanim are only coming to assist Moab, right? Um, they're coming to assist Moab, and nevertheless, Hashem says, go ahead and destroy the Midyanim. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, so certainly the Moab should be destroyed, and I was there with the, 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 you know, the right, they, they were the main ones. So, let's see, so he says, Look, Shalda, 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 look, Sh
They bring those to the station, right? Because there's, there's two, two great descendants coming from them, and therefore I do not want the uh, you know, the nations, uh, you know, those nations destroyed because then, you know, Rus and Nami won't come from them. That for the, these two, you know, large nations, Hashem didn't want them destroyed because there was supposed to be descendants, great descendants coming from them. Right? Uh, the, the so certainly, if there was supposed to be anything, if, if, if something was supposed to come from your daughter, mm-hmm. right, then HaKadosh Baruch Hu obviously would have saved her. For whatever reason, this was her tachlis. You know, if she had more of a tachlis to fulfill in this world, HaKadosh Baruch Hu would have saved her, right? And HaKadosh Baruch Hu saved uh, uh, nations of Rishayim oh, for, for future you know, things to come out. But obviously, her tachlis was fulfilled. And therefore, that's why she was taken. So don't go ahead and start thinking that, oh, you know, she would have lived a long life and had children and descendants and great, because this was her chalik. She wasn't supposed to have descendants uh, well, covered. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, wh- why what? Why would they be doing that model? I think they're just uh, darshaning. Mm-hmm. Well, well, what do I mean? So well, you're talking about yeah. his, his daughter died, right? right. His daughter died, yeah. and they right, so, wow. right, so they right, they were Menachem. So Ula went to be Menachem. Why would they, how many would be? No, because they said he didn't want to go with the Babylonians. The Babylonians, they were lower level. They were lower level. So Ula was right. It was him, and he must have been So they said, let's go to the Babylonians. So that no one wants to. Yeah, of course. Is uh, the Babylonians? I mean, come on, they're they're, they're below the the Israelites. You know, really, yeah, just saying. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there was there was often times where you know they had some sort of you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, rivalry. I'd say put more than you know. They say you guys know how to learn this, and you know they're that. Mm-hmm. So Omar. But well, why are they bringing this as as? Uh, a I think we're, to we're, we're soon going to bring uh, by by uh, by Bob because we, we basically just started to darshan by Nachrim, right? By by Nachrim, and so therefore it was the Nachrim of there was a kavuchayim that was done from the the, the Moab who, who were Nachrim, right? And the, the, that's from there. So therefore they drew the kavuchayim. We're going to have more pesukim like that actually. So Amar, so Amar Abchia, right? So Amar Abchia, Rabbi Amar Abchia, Kanein Kodesh Baruch Hu, Mekaveach Skar Kolbria. I feel the schar sichana, right? You know, Hakadosh Baruch Hu does not uh, 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 withhold any sort of schar, even from right uh, from schar the dealu bechira kamra moab, right? So the the older one says moab, right? Meab, right? Which wasn't so hidden. So I'm like Hakadosh Baruch Hu lemoisha. So al teitz as moab al tiskar bala melchama. So melchama hold lo ha guri abitu. You can go ahead and uh, sort of. Uh, um, uh, interact, uh, you know, with them, uh, instigate with them, but you can't go ahead and have a war. However, it's here the Kamala Ben Ami, but however, the, the, the younger one who, who right, uh, Amon, right, Ben Ami, right, so he's, he, and then he said, right, don't bother them at all. So you see that there's rewarded from even the nice Lashon uh, that it was called Amon as opposed to Moab from the father to go ahead and reveal that uh, she had a child with her father. You can't go ahead and even instigate with them. But your person should always rush to the door. Right? Because he, they thought they were doing a mitzvah, saving the world. So therefore, the scar of running to the mitzvah, she, uh, 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 so she descended from her, the older one, uh, four generations earlier of people before the younger one. Right. Uh, uh, so it says later on when was, was was born. So it says over there that was later on only after uh, uh, Shlomo. So now, what is the status of a kusi? So Shoi Yisrael should have went and gored the head of a kusi. Potter, he is Potter. Tam Meshalim Chatsi Nezek Amud Meshalim Nezek Shalim. Right, so according to this, if that of a kusi gores that of Israel, potter. But if the kusi uh, gores that, so tam you don't pay nezek shalim like a, like a guy. Rather you pay chatzin nezek and muad mishalim nezek shalim. Rameir, Rameir, 
You always pay Nezik Shalim, even Tav, right? So the name of the Sever, Meir, Kusim, Ge, Ariasim, right? That they, they basically converted because of their fear of lions, and therefore they didn't really have a valid conversion. If you don't have a valid conversion, you are a Nachri. And if you're a Nachri, you always pay Nezik Shalim, whether you're Tam or Muad. I, Ramin, who I'll challenge you on that question to say that Ramayor holds at the Kusim Argai. It says in there, Kolak Summon, Haboy Mirekem. So, any sort of uh, 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 stains, all right, that, that come, all right, we don't know that the, the, whether it was from a, a Jew, which would be Matame, or it would be a, a, a blood stain of, from a, a Nachri, which would not, which would be Tahar. So, it says, Kolak Summon, Haboy Mirekem, Tahar, from the area of Rekem, which were, right, which were mostly. Uh, I think was it Kusim here or mostly Goyim? Let's say Mereka. Uh, uh, no, it's mostly Goyim, right? So Tarim. <clears throat> and Rabbi Huda Metame, and Rabbi Huda Metame, and Mipne, Shehein, Gerim, and Taim, Rabbi Huda Metame, and Nacher. Right? So it says, uh, no, Rabbi Huda says, no, that they are Tarim, because a lot of Jews uh, who lived amongst them, right? There was a bunch of converts here or there, and Mibane and Nacher and Tarim. Mibane Yisrael, and Kusim, Right and, and, and therefore, so the, you can't. They're they're considered to be uh, converts. There, um, you know, if they come from Goyim, then they're Taharim. Ben Yisrael, Ben Akusim, and now what about if they come from Yisrael or Akusim? Rabbi Meir Matame, the Chayim Matira, Shaloi Nechshu Al Kisme. So we see over here that Rabbi Meir says the case of Ben Yisrael, Ben Akusim. Rabbi Meir is Matame. Matame treats him like a Yisrael. So you treat like yourself. I just before we said that the kusim, the animals, they always had pain as a even if it was Tom. So Al Moksavar and Mayor, Kusim, Gary, and the same. We see over here that they, 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 were, they were true converts, and therefore they're they're Matami just like Israel. So we go. So Kanas, who should go as a mayor, but Mayna, Shalo eat So he says, no, it was a Kanas, basically, it was a penalty on them that they shouldn't go ahead and mingle with the Israel. Therefore, they want to say, wait, well, hey, you're going you're gonna to hang around them. So therefore, we're going to go ahead and penalize you. So these mm. are the different naras that they have a kanas. So you see, you pay a kanas to a uh, even if his uh, kusis, right? Mm -hmm. He goes ahead and he a uh, uh, person violates, right? He normally has to go ahead and pay 50 shalom. Mm -hmm. If a mayor penalizes them for, for money, hakanami, aniknas. In other words, maybe you should penalize them and uh, in order they should not go ahead and get paid. So right? So he said, no, because if you say that a person violates a kusi, then we'll see that the person will just go ahead and violate kusim and it'll be a chait iskar. Right? So therefore, we don't want a sinner to go ahead and be rewarded. So Gora says, I, Venis him. Okay, so say this, put a fine out. Just say, okay, don't pay the kusim, pay somebody else, give it to charity, right? Mm -hmm. So these guys, I've been using their names. So I'm a Rav Mari, Mishum the Havi Mamshe in the type. In other words, if he said it goes to the, to a poor people, then you'll never be able to enforce it because if you say, okay, I'm a poor person, you give me. I already gave another poor person. Okay. Right? Our institution says give us. I already gave someone else. So therefore, you can't have a claimant. Therefore, there'll be a chayt in this guy. So therefore, we have a claimant. In other words, the person who was violated or the father. Mm -hmm. So therefore, then you would have a claimant. And therefore, the person who violates would be obligated to pay, even though it's a kusi. We did it not to benefit the kusin, but rather to penalize uh, the chaita. I will stop. Uh, 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 Shake everybody. Shake everybody.